G'day viewers, this is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts channel. I'm going to be doing a demonstration video to you on how to use a very old video camera as a webcam on Skype. Surprisingly, this can actually be achieved with the use of an MPEG capturing device connected to the USB port to your computer. Anyhow, um, yeah, the other day I bought off eBay an Easy Cap, EZ Cap DC60 Plus MPEG capture card that connects to your computer via USB, which you can input analog audio and video, and you can capture MPEG video from whatever video source as MPEGs. But also, you can actually use the, the capture card as a video source for Skype. So I go to my video. I've, I've actually um, you know, already installed that also. I'm not going to go into the nuts and bolts of how to set up the capture card. That's another thing. But, um, but yeah, in the, but, now, but having the capture card set up, you just go to the, your video settings. Um, I'm currently now on me. Uh, Logitech webcam and um, my webcam selected is Logitech. Now that capture card can also is also can be optionally used on Skype. So I select my USB to 681 device, which is the EZ cap capture card, not capture card, sorry, capture device. And now I have my video source coming from my camera. The, the um, lens is currently closed and I'll just open it up now to show you. So there I am in 1960s black and white Viticon. What I'm using here is my 1967 Sony VCK2400 AC black and white Viticon tube camera which I've been you know, experimenting around with a lot with a bunch of other things I've seen in the videos. Um, this time I'm using it on Skype. Now, I have this camera um, indirectly connected to the capture card via my VHS recorder. The reason why I do this is because these old cameras output a level of DC with the AC video signal which uh, um, which from experience ha actually can wreck your digital video inputs on any digital video um, recording devices whether it be a capture card or your DVD recorder I've actually um, zapped through my digital inputs on my video DVD recorder and I'm not too happy about that so yeah I um to strip the DC, I have the camera connected to the VHS and I have the output straight from the VHS to the capture card to, to the computer. And um, the capture card being used as the optional um, display device of a, of a video source, um, I can use my old camera as a webcam. And that is a really cool thing. I've actually, um, earlier on today, I've been, um, I've Skyped one of my mates over in America. And um, yeah, I, uh, for the video conversation, I used this very camera. And yeah, um, and it worked very well. And um, yeah, I had a great chin wag about stuff via this camera. <laughs> Anyhow, so yeah, this is just a little tutorial video on how you can use an old camera that's made um, before PCs were even invented as a webcam for Skype and any other um, communications programs which um, involve using webcams. Really neat thing. I can also um, I can I can also broadcast videos via, um, via Skype using the capture device. 
see I've got me video tape recorder connected I've got a video sitting in here which I'll hit the play button in a sec I, I can just pull up the menu there on the, on the um, Skype display screen and then yeah I'll hit the play button and there I have one of me um, recordings I made from that camera the other day when I was doing remote work getting played back through Skype so yeah if I wanted to um, show some videos to any any of my um, mates who I conversate with um, I can just simply plug a tape in and and um, yeah have it connected to this capture device and play it on play it via Skype now I also got um, switched on my other camera which is a uh, 1979 Hanamax VC600P um, color striped Viticon camera tube camera yes it's a color Viticon camera made from the late 70s which in um, outdoor scenes uh, make very 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 nice color pictures Of all the um, Viticon color cameras I have, um, this camera and perhaps my Sony HVC 3000P make the best, um, the best color pictures. But anyhow, getting straight to the point, I'll just unplug this camera here and hook it up. So yeah. <laughs> Here we are. I've now got hooked up to as a webcam me Hanamix color camera made around 1979. <laughs> and yeah, you can as um, these old Viticon color cameras have a distinct look to them, which looks really cool and retro. So yeah, if I wanna, if I wanna um, Skype myself retro style, I can do that via EasyCap. Oh, there is um, one major requirement if you want to use a vintage tube camera as um, a webcam, you must have a very bright light source. And in this case, I'm using a um, cyclorama light, better known as a cyclite, light, which, is off, which are often used in uh, TV studios and at um, concerts. So yeah, these old cameras, yeah, they require a lot of um, light to produce a decent picture. So yeah, just use a cycle light or another or any sort of really bright light source. So yeah, this is this is an experiment um, yeah any of um, you people who are into old TV cameras can try out you can actually you can actually um, hook pretty much any sort of um, television camera up to this capture card and um, Skype yourself on it you can even um, <laughs> rig up a a um, black and white image Orphicon tube studio camera from the 1950s um, to your to the easy easy cap uh, capture device and Skype yourself via that in um, 1950s black and white style but of course yeah you need to have a, um, some form of DC blocking between the uh, video output of your 
of your camera or the camera's um, associated camera control units uh, t to your um, e um, to your capturing device. Yeah, this is um yeah one neat thing that I've discovered, and yeah, I'm going to be using these cameras when Skyping my friends. Hope you enjoyed this video uh, video demo. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.